So this is Freddy, and he is a three-year-old Oldenburg gelding, um, and we just imported him uh, like two months ago. And he, um, we're going to test him out today with the flag and see how he does, and see if we can find any spots where he may be afraid of the flag. This flag is nice because I can kind of roll it up and make it smaller and then unroll it and make it bigger. And it's important with this that I don't overexpose it. So I don't just want to go use the flag and make it really big and make him scared of it and then say get over it. I want to control it so that I can support him to get better about it. So I start with it smaller, trying to support him to stay. And if they're really scared, you can see he's already pretty good about it. I did a little bit already. So if they're really scared, I'll roll it up smaller and just start touching them where they get okay with it. And then eventually I'll roll it out bigger and bigger and bigger until he can get used to it coming bigger uh, and going over top of them. Then the next thing to check out is, okay, you can say here, he's really good about the flag. Like I'm. I'm using it, he's not afraid of it. But the next thing to check out that's really important is to move him a little bit. So he moves around and see if there's any spots there where he's scared. Because sometimes they'll be okay here standing still and then as soon as they move and it's following them, then they get scared. And so the equivalent of that under saddle is if he's moving and I'm up there and then all of a sudden he's getting scared and I'm moving more and then all of a sudden I get bucked off. So I. I try to get him moving a little bit and then seeing how, is he okay with it move while he's moving. Good, and moving him around. My left hand says go over here, my flag directs him. There, good, just like that. Then testing him out here. Here, I'll trot him around a little bit and then step in towards the hind legs and move the hind legs away from my knee. There, just like that. So the inside hind leg steps under his body and he bends and yields to the contact. Yeah, stepping the hind leg over, bending, just like that. Test it out, shaking it. There, and if he moves off, I, I might move it like that and then see if he moves off. I'll be okay with it. I don't want him to pull against me so it comes against my aid. But I also don't want to discourage him too much from moving there. I want to say it's okay if you need to yield over, but eventually he'll come back to me and he'll stop again. Just testing him out. Say, are you scared? And then being supportive if he is scared of helping him find a spot to get soft. Good. And just repeating that a few times. Good. Good. Here's another tip. My, my leading hand kind of directs him. So if it comes out here to the right, that means for his body to move over here. If it comes in by my body, that means to slow down and disengage his hindquarters. So move forward over here, then I can support him with my hand. Move over here. Good. Then if my hand comes in by my body, that means to stop. Just like that there, that's good. Leading hand goes out here, moving around. Good, and stopping. So then this is called my leading hand. And the flag is my supporting hand. So 
leading him around over here again.